So it's been one month, 28 days, four weeks exactly since I had my ACL surgery. I'm starting to walk normally. But what I wanted to focus on was talk about all the gadgets that have helped me uh, in my recovery phase. So here's one, you know, this knee compression sleeve, definitely helpful, gives me some like added stability. This Wi-Fi plug, uh, definitely really good. I wanna go into what, why that is. I have some other stuff laying around here. Some stuff wasn't as helpful as I thought it'd be, like this gravity chair. I thought, you know, I would, um, I bought a wireless keyboard too, and I thought, hey, you know, I'll do work and have my legs raised up, I had a pillow under there, and I thought that'd be great. But some things didn't end up working out that well. I'd much rather be in the bed. I ended up being in the bed a lot. I had this to raise my knee. I really like the little divot there. It's a lot better than just pillows. Uh, but there's a lot of things like that, and I just kind of quickly want to go over what have really helped me recover. Um, so four weeks, you know, um, pretty good. Uh, still swollen, you know, my knee's still swollen. If you want to zoom in there, but most of the um, the scar, the you know, the big stitches and stuff have already come out. It's already healing pretty good. Just a little swollen, relatively, um, but you know, it's getting there and starting to walk almost normally. Walking without crutches for the last almost half a week, full week now. Anyway, back to devices. So I definitely recommend, you know, getting one of those ice machines. It's so much more convenient. You know, the ice packs, they're great, but they last maybe only like 20, 30 minutes. And especially, uh, I think what's really great, especially in the beginning, is having this machine on at night. And so, you know, you just wrap the knee pad. Usually what I would do is actually just take a t-shirt and just put my leg in it. All right and then wrap, just so you're not on bare skin, and then wrap the knee pad around your knee. And, you know, I would do that almost all night, but then I actually ended up getting like some kind of like freezer burns um, on my leg for, for doing it for so long. So when I figured out like two weeks into it, after doing that so long, was plug your cold device into a smart plug. And what you can do with a smart plug is put it on a schedule. So I have this on a schedule where every 15 minutes, uh, 15 minutes every hour, it, it turns on for 15 minutes and then it's off 45 uh, minutes. And then 15 minutes on, 45 minutes off. And that way, you know, my leg doesn't get too cold. All the blood, uh, they say it's good to do on and off. You shouldn't have constant throughout the night uh, because then your blood vessels just get used to it and it's not actually doing anything. So get a smart plug, put it on a schedule, and it's really as simple as that. I definitely recommend that. That way you are automatically icing. This machine can keep up with you all night. Um, and I think that's really helped me in my recovery. And you don't, won't get that freezer burn that I was talking about. And the same with, um, and at work now, so I'm at work now, and I was thinking I'd bring this chair, but actually what I ended up doing was just, you know, just propping my leg. Let's see if I can show you guys but I have my chair and honestly I'm just I have my leg up and I'm just like typing away and it's like this at work um, and what I'll do is like every hour or two I'll put on a knee pack uh, knee and you know it's just flopping around there so what I like to use is the ace bandage you know they probably gave you this at the hospital and just wrap it around and I'll just put it right over my dress pants at work and that seems to do pretty good insulation. And when I do this, um, you know, just wrapping it around, it brings it close to my knee for maximum coolness. It also just holds it in place, so even if I have to get up and do something, it's still kind of there. So I recommend, you know, having that ace bandage and to do that. And I switch, I have two ice packs at work. There's a freezer there and I just switch it out. Uh, once one's done, I grab the other one. So the ice packs are great for that, especially once you know you're kind of recovered already. You don't need that as much. Um, so at night, I liked having a microwavable heat pad, just because you know you get really cold with the cold machine on your leg. So I usually had the, the microwave heat pad, just heated it up two minutes in the microwave, and just put that on my other leg, just so I didn't feel freezing the whole night long. Um, other than that, uh, I did buy a little mini TENS machine, a lot of the physical therapists will give you that, but it just helps you kind of like fire your quads, and you know, that was pretty helpful. 
Um, I'd say those are the most helpful things. There's my ACL brace. Honestly, the doctors say to wear it a lot. I kind of, every time I wore it, I felt like my knee would swell up. It felt stiff. And so, honestly, I didn't wear that so much. I just kind of used a lot of crutches. Um, anyway, not recommending that. I feel like you should wear it. It's to protect you. It's not really to correct anything, but to protect you in case you slip or fall, it'll, you just won't break your, what, what, what you had reconstructed. So those are the things, also, yeah, definitely recommend this wedge pillow. I know I mentioned a little bit, but having that little divot really helps. Uh, just be careful though that, you know, this has a bend. So what I would do is prop up more pillows here to keep the legs straight. Cause you don't want to, you know, heal with a bend cause you want to be able to straighten that leg out. So if you, if you go to sleep every night with a bend, you know, you might not, you might not get that full extension. Um, and I think, you know, that's about all my tips right now. Um, so yeah, walking pretty good. And, you know, four weeks, not too bad. You know, still a little stiff, not walking completely normal, but I think in another week or so, I'll be walking normal. And uh, that's, that's my progress so far. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Give us a thumbs up and uh, check out the other videos I made about my ACL recovery.